Well, yeah. Uh, uh, kind of late on that, but all right. So, um, <laughs> welcome to the first uh, Romp Airline State of the Union address <laughs> for 2016. Oh boy! Hey, we made it. We're not. We're not um, dead yet. Yet. <laughs> no. Uh, so yeah, 2015 was a little rough. Uh, it seemed a little kind of a bit on the slow side. Um, it ended on a I mean, sour note with that game that we won't mention. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we'll just categorize 2015 as the year of questionable decisions. <laughs> okay. Let's call it between, that. I mean, be- between Sunshine and Off, I mean, yeah, those probably weren't the most pleasant games, especially to follow them up back to back, but you know what? Uh, that's It's over. We're done with it. We're into 2016, and... Um, as some of you might be aware, we've already begun a new Let's Play. Uh, over the past year, Axel and I have been more or less just constantly recording stuff, but just the two of us uh, live. M- really a bunch of games that we had never really played before. Uh, and now we're finally at a point where I feel comfortable just go ahead and releasing some of them. As some of you might have noticed back on the 9th, uh, time splitters uh, got restarted. Uh, for the more steely eyed of you, you'll remember that sometime last year we played, we started playing through time splitters. Uh, Axel, myself, and our friend uh, Edward uh, joining the mix, or Pizana as he would be known by his stage name. Hmm. Um, and so we got about. Uh, we played the first two levels of the game, and we call it a quits, and then at some point in time, Axel and I decided, like, well, why don't we just go back again? And unfortunately, <laughs> and we didn't have the same save file, uh, so we had to replay uh, through some of that. But every Saturday, you can expect an update for Time Splitters, and following Ooh. that, more <laughs> games that he and I have been doing in the meantime. Uh, but you already know about that. It's how it's happening. It's in the present. Let's yeah. talk about the future. future. The not-too-distant future. I'm talking about practically tomorrow. Because on the 22nd, January, a Friday, we're going to be seeing Nebel's uh, second Let's Play on the Romp Airlines channel. That being Undertale. Mm-hmm. Woo-woo. It'll be a really, really fun time for, for everyone. Yeah, Lots of puns. Fantastic. Yeah, yes. right. Okay. Pundertail. <laughs> um, Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Get used to this kind of thing during the LP. We make <laughs> bad puns. Marty hates his life. The end. Yeah, that's kind of the state of affairs for all things. And I'd also like to go ahead and take this time to, I guess, formally announce that Romp Airlines has expanded beyond just myself, Maestro, and Axel, my usual compatriot, to include future or current content creators for the channel, Miss Nebels. Woo! And Mr. Martian of Planet Media. Hello. Um, so yeah, these guys you'll recognize for being on board through the entirety of both the Sunshine and Off LPs. Despite, um, you know, our, our sanity slipping. Yeah. It tends to happen when you're around my show for long enough. True. It was a questionable series of events. We'll just go ahead and move on. (laughs) Yes, we will. (laughs) But yeah, so Nebels more or less became an official member of the team when we started recording off and it started posting towards the end of last year. Mm -hmm. Um, And Marty was also slated to be providing content at some times, but he had computer trouble, so... Still do. <laughs> it still does. But it's, it's getting but better. We, it's getting man. Making man. It we, we do have something mm-hmm. from him coming in the future, but first things first, uh, that's more or less going to wrap up the January uh, scheduling uh, for this year, 2016. We will get more dense as the year go gear goes on as far as you know different lps happening at once Mm -hmm. uh this is a new and exciting time we haven't been able to do this since we first started the channel (laughs) um yeah 
And then in February, we're going to go ahead and uh, post or begin in earnest the Let's Play of Star Road, the Super Mario 64 fan hack that I had a Let's Try of post back uh, a few days ago. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different in as much as it's not going to have uh, a set consistent set of commentators like all of our Let's Plays before now traditionally we have had. Uh, it's just going to be me playing the game and then whomever I can get to join me for the play sessions. It will be a live LP, live over the internet, which is something we have tried in the past to do but have failed innumerably so. Again. Yes. Much failure. Uh, I, I I have great great high hopes for this. So let's uh, believe. Let's cross your fingers. Uh, the first episode is slated to post on Thursday, February fourth, and keep posting there on after. We also have uh, a lovely uh, lovely game slated to begin towards the end of February. Uh, one that I have tried to get off the ground since the channel started, but for one reason or another, it just never came to fruition. Starting on February 22nd, and every Monday thereafter, we'll be Let's Playing Pikmin. Yay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Pikmin! Um... That is going to be piloted by myself and actual acting as co-pilot with uh, Miss Nebels, Marty, and uh, sometime guest Dakota uh, joining the fray at different points in the LP. We're going to be doing the guesting situation a little bit differently. Um, but you know what? What's what's our Ron Barry Lions LP without trying to get a little out there? Of course. A little bit. Like with the entire all just a little. Point gate <laughs> movie. Oh, boy. Never forget. <laughs> and then lastly, uh, for, at least for our spring lineup, we have Marty bringing in his first official Let's Play to the channel, uh, Sonic Adventure. Woo! Gotta go fast. DX. Too fast. Too furious. Sonic Adventure. Yeah, uh, and this one is going to be uh, a very, very interesting LP. Um, personally speaking, I don't think I've ever seen somebody play or let's play the game quite in this manner. Um, but you'll see what we're talking about. Uh, first As episode is slated to. All that. Yeah, it's slated to go up on March first, uh, Tuesdays, and then again, as always, every Tuesday thereafter. And that in and of itself, by the time that starts, we should have, what, like five LPs running at once in perfect sequence? Yikes. Yep. That sounds like a lot hey, of that's, content. That's, yeah, it's pretty ambitious for us, considering we can bar we've barely been able to eke out one episode a week <laughs> for, like, what, two years straight? Nope. But we're trying to Im improve ourselves. Should we yes, mention so that we also recently hit 100 subscribers? Woo! Yeah, yeah, it's a, a real milestone. <laughs> yeah, so exciting, it right? Kind of is. Where's our Where's I our mean, uh, stone play button? <laughs> right. It's not, it's not even a stone. It's just like a piece of <laughs> just mud that's just <laughs> it's just thrown at my window. Our dirt play you button. You did it. <laughs> yeah. I think we would at least get the decency for you know paper, or is that yeah. for two hundred? Yeah, that's like that's 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 two hundred. That's at least a thousand. Okay. Anyway, yeah. No, a, th a thousand is a nice email. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Congratulations. Yeah, so uh, for those of you who are subscribed to us and actually watching these things. Thank you. Uh, thank, you. Sp sp thank you. Spread the word. Get out there. Tell your friends. Uh, Romp Airlines needs your patronage. Yes. We're, we're very, very, very lonely up here. Oh. So, should we uh, go through what our kind of weekly plan is going to be for the year? Um, yeah, so that's just a brief overview of how we're going to be kickstarting the year. Uh, as you'll notice, we're not trying to dump everything on you all at once, mostly because 
nobody wants to watch all that. <laughs> we gotta we get we have to ease the viewership into it. Right. Um. So we're we're having staggered releases for all of these let's plays. I mean, generally separated by about mm, every two weeks, we'll have uh, a new release if there's a new release to be had. Mm -hmm. But um, the breakdown is this. Once we finally get in the full swing of things, and we may augment this schedule to include additional titles should uh, it, it pro prove feasible. But uh, from Monday through Sunday, your week will look like this in the near future. Mondays are going to be Maestro LPs. These are game LPs that are piloted by myself and myself alone. Uh, these, so this is going to be stuff like Pikmin and uh, various other things that will be coming out later in the year. Tuesdays is going to be are going to be Marty's days, and you might be getting the gist of where this is going uh, if you've been paying attention. Uh, Wednesdays are open. In the air, we don't have anything set for that day, but we'll probably reserve that for special events or what have you. Uh, Thursday is going to be twofold uh, in what happens. Uh, occasionally, we'll release like a cooperative one-off that we've we've been working on, a special collaboration between some of us. Uh, a riff if we decide to do it just you know kind of whatever it's a, it's a very grab bag sort of day but uh, starting some point in the near future uh, probably sometime around February Thursdays will also be our official streaming days Woo. yes we've tried this before we're going to try this again we'll get we're it going right to try later. <laughs> we're going to try streaming Every Thursday night for a few hours. Uh, the exact time uh, for which would will come to follow. Um, but these will most likely be LPs that will not actually find their way to the main channel. They'll they may, they may be... not. It really just depends on what we're up to. And we should mention that this is probably going to be on Twitch, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is going to be on Twitch. Um, we'll, it is It has been recently formed by the time this will post. Uh, links will be in the description for all that, as well as all other places in which you could find uh, that information. Um, as far as making an official announcement for what the first game we're going to do live is... I don't think we even um, know, do we? Do we know? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's that's still a mystery. Yeah, fuck it. It's gonna be Glover. Great. All right. <laughs> oh. He sounds so excited. Do you have, do you have any, any idea no. what Glover is? No. Oh, Glover is a delight in small doses. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know what? No, just leave it a surprise. I'll wait until the stream. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and announce that now. The first game we'll end up LPing live over Twitch will be Glover. Like I said, an exact date will follow at some point. But more more likely than not, that's going to begin sometime in February. Okay. Okie dokes. Uh, beyond that, um, as far as utilization of the Twitch channel is, any one of us will probably be able to do it. But I'm, I am talking, of course, myself, uh, Marty, Nebels, and Axel, because he he's coming back, guys. <laughs> he didn't go anywhere. He's not dead. He's still here. Wait, he's not I've dead. I've seen the body. Um, <laughs> oh. uh, he so will return look forward. the void and on yes, the third look, day look forward to that so so if, if for some reason uh, one of us can't stream on that particular day hopefully somebody else will be able to jump in and just have something you yeah. know mm -hmm. just even if even if it's just like let's play sim city for an hour or like, whatever or yeah. like just smash on like online or something yeah anything yeah. really yeah, smash. Speaking of which. <laughs> Speaking of which, that brings me uh, to a thing I have to talk about after we finish announcing the weekly schedule. Right. So that's Thursdays. Fridays is going to be for Miss Nebels. Yes. You can start off your uh, weekends in the coolest way possible, watching my Let's Plays. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. 
My honor has been insulted. Good. No. Uh, You're gonna have a bad time yes. on Fridays. <laughs> yes. So that's that. Saturdays are reserved for what I am now officially referring to as the Romp Airlines headquarters. That's going to be stuff that I've recorded with myself and Axel. We've done live, I'll, like time splitters, as you have already seen, as well as other games we've been recording in the meantime. And uh, additional announcement, a big project I've been trying to undertake for the past while now. But more on that a bit. And Sundays are equally vacant as Wednesdays. Again, we're leaving ourselves room to grow, and we don't want to just constantly throw videos at you because, you know what? No, we got a lot. You got a lot of time in the day. Not a lot to watch YouTube. You got to pick and choose wisely. We're giving you days off. Hmm. Two days off for now. So you get nine to five, forty hours a week. Maybe like half an hour. Of that's Ron Barry lines. Does sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Gee. Sounds pretty solid. And who knows? We may fill in those days for something else. Yeah. Should something. I'd also yes. like be to able kind of take in that spot. Tease the possibility of since um obviously, Maestro Nevels and myself are not in the same location, and we do all this online. Um. In the in the sky. Yeah. Yes. Uh, We're in the cloud. We are the. We cloud. are the cloud. <laughs> um, I'm working on getting together a like a group of people around my area to do live stuff as well in the same vein that Maestro does stuff with Axel and his people. And so, I'm going to also attempt the same thing. Yeah, so that might be coming hopefully sometime towards the end of the year. So, mm -hmm. so we're, we're going to go ahead and pencil that in as a tentative uh, expansion of the Romp Airlines brand to include Romp Airlines North and Romp Airlines East. Yes. For uh, Marty and Neville's, respectively. Will there be a Romp yep. Airlines list? I don't know. Who am I, Pax? I can't. Hmm. When's our Pax panel? Uh, we'll, five, be we'll be at Pax one. We'll be at Pax one day. Twenty thirty. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so that, but that's the t that's the schedule as it looks so far. Um, everything we've announced so far, as far as confirmed dates are set in stone those are coming look forward to that mm -hmm. it's going to be a big year for us at romp airlines because we have additional stuff planned uh again i'm not going to go ahead and announce um, some hard dates but we'll go ahead and, and announce some titles that you can look forward to in the over the course of the year the future uh <laughs> so uh axel and i have been kind of uh, trying to figure out how to do this again he's been out of commission for this past year because life sucks um, oh. you know we, people get busy it happens and you know I, I can't really begrudge him for any of that he's got his life and he's gonna be uh, he's, go he's gonna he's gonna rule the world one day so what can <laughs> I say day. kids going places mm -hmm. um, but we have been trying to get this off the ground and it looks like his big comeback let's play is going to be uh, Tomb Raider, Ooh, cool. uh, the new Tomb Raider, at least. Oh, like the uh, one that came out last year? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, look forward to that. He and I will probably be working that on that in the meantime. Uh, other games that he and I have been working on include such stellar titles like the original Metal Gear Solid. Oh, God. Which, mm -hmm. which may or may not be a long-running series. <laughs> Emphasis oh, on long. Oh God, you have no idea. <laughs> Some episodes will literally just be one cutscene. Isn't yeah. what? I mean, isn't it? Like, isn't one of the games just a movie? <laughs> Essentially. Okay. It's like, hey, you got some video game in my movie. Yeah. Uh, fun fact: he and I have never actually played any of the Metal Gear Solid games. <gasps> um, so you're gonna be witnessing our raw reactions oh, to boy. the shit that goes on. It's a delight. I can't wait. That's gonna yeah, be fun. It's an absolute I'll delight. Fun to watch. I have to watch that too. Uh, we're also working on Bayonetta, or more specifically, the Wii U version. We'll be doing that and its sequel. Yay. Uh, we're gonna get wicked. Yeah, uh, very. Uh, and uh, Jack and Daxter is another game we have started. Uh, with the HD uh, remake, of course, with from the Jack and Daxter collection. Because you know what? You. 
Sony needs more love on this channel, so we're, we're just going to go ahead and start pumping out more stuff from that. Of course, we've also got a number of different games we've tried and sampled and uh, a couple of one-offs we've done here and there, so I look forward to that. But that, uh, enough about me. Uh, we Later this year, Marty's going to be able to follow up Sonic Adventure with Sonic Adventure 2. Woo. So... There's that to look forward to. Look forward uh, to. Nebels and her steadfast companion, Miss Devin, the lovely Miss Devin, um, who has been a sometime commentator for us here on Romp Airlines. Yeah, she was on Our... Off and Part of Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was, and she'll be in more stuff. Just, just we you know, keep an eye out. We plan on doing Yoshi's Woolly World in the future. Mm -hmm. which, will, which will be full of... Yarn puns, yeah. Yarn. Yep. But it's yes. That's not the title. That's woolly, not yarny. <laughs> shush, shush. We're gonna weave together some wonderful puns. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm satisfied. And of course, you might as well consider this to be the year of sequels because after Pikmin is. The first Pikmin is finished. We will, of course, be continuing with Pikmin 2. Myself continuing to play as Cor of course, and Axel as my steadfast companion. But we're also going to include everybody else, as well as a couple of special guests, in the commentary panel. So... That'll be fun. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. That'll it is be a big deal. Literally chaos everywhere. <laughs> Riots beautiful, in the streets. Beautiful chaos. Yes, but speaking of everybody else, I'd like to also more or less acknowledge the fact that beyond myself, Axel, Nebels, and Marty, we do have other voices coming into the fray every now and then. Uh, some of you will recognize Miss Devin and Dakota, of course, who have both been previously involved in various Romp Airlines projects. They are, of course, sticking around for the long term just to add a couple of different extra voices and perspectives, uh, you know, just kind of keep things loose and shaken up. Uh, we've also have some other people coming along for the ride. Potentially. Uh, potentially, but I'm not going to announce names because we're still waiting on hard confirmations on their uh, persistence, uh, if, as it were. <laughs> Look forward to that. More people, more voices, Woo! more perspectives. It's all a good time. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. Yes, and speaking of all a good time, that brings us to the last and probably the biggest announcement of this year. Oh, boy. Okay, so this has been something I've wanted to do since day one on this channel. Uh, it has kind of been in the back of my mind because... When everybody, people say, like, I want to make a Let's Play channel, you usually have a short list of games of, you absolutely want to do. So, for me, it was always, like, Super Mario 64, um, all the other Mario games. I wanted to do Pikmin. I also wanted to do uh, various uh, PC games I loved growing up, like The Neverhood. And that's all well and good, but there's always been that one, that one thing I have always wanted to do mm. that nobody else has been able to do before i'm talking of course mario party yes mario party me and my local crew of friends have been tirelessly <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's not what i expected but all right me either <laughs> i didn't I'm know you were so surprises passionate about Mario Party. Like, damn. That came out of yeah, nowhere. But seriously, uh, my... Ever since I started the channel, um, I had always wanted to do games with me and my, my friends. Of course, Axel has always been in since the ground floor, and you've seen stuff... You've seen something involving uh, one uh, Adam, or Hawkeye, or however he decides to call himself. He doesn't He doesn't know how cameras work. <laughs> and uh, Pizana, as I previously mentioned, um, but one of the things I've always wanted to do is let's play Mario Party. Uh, there have been us players out there before who have kind of done various little things, like, oh, I've got some of my friends together, we're going to play Let's Play Mario Party. And I think 
probably most notably uh, would be Slim Kirby to have actually played through every single Mario Party game on his channel. It's kind of one of his big draws. But he did that alone. That was a solo effort. So it was him and three computers. I figured, like, you know what? No. The only way, the only way you could do Mario Party justice is to slug it out with three of your best friends. Who and... will no longer be your best friends after yeah. this. Yeah, have fun with that. Oh, we've been having a blast. We've actually been recording this off and on for the past, since uh, sometime last year. Uh, it's really difficult for us to be able to come together all at once and be able to record this stuff. Yeah. Um, but we do try, and every time we do meet up, I make it. A, we make a point to get a playthrough of Mario Party done. So I am going to formally announce, starting late this year, operative term, late. We're, we're talking like August, September like time. Like literally frame. December 31st. <laughs> yes. Um, is the, going to be the official Romp Airlines uh, headquarters, as I should probably clarify, uh, on long-running, ongoing series of Let's Play Mario Party. We will be playing every single uh, Mario Party game in the main series that is mario parties one through ten we won't be tackling any of the handheld variants because honestly like 10 of these games is enough to last a lifetime um so be looking forward to that that's something i'm really excited about and something i really really think you guys are going to enjoy a nice little insight to the life of maestro and just how how little i actually value my friend's friendship sounds about right <laughs> <laughs> ah. I wouldn't expect any less of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, we have one other major announcement. Um, uh, you thought we were done. No, this oh, wouldn't be a, a Romp Airlines production if we didn't go on for way too long talking about absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, this has been talking about, you know, like games you've always wanted to do when you start a Let's Play channel. Um, there has always been one set of games that I absolutely knew I had to LP at some point. Um, but I kind of pushed that off to the side because I want to like I want to get make sure I know what I'm doing. I want to get some other LPs under my belt first because I want to make sure I can do these games justice because they just mean a lot to me, and subsequently they mean a lot to us as a whole. Um, so. Uh, this is going to be a formal announcement starting in April. Again, I don't have a hard date on this. We will be Let's Playing every single Rare game produced for the Nintendo 64. It's going to be a, a long, amazing, fun project. Can't wait. Yes. I'm super excited. And we are calling it the Rarathon. Woo woo. Yeah. So, just to clarify what the entails is, yes, we will be doing long, fully formed Let's Plays of every single game, Rare Rare produced, for the N64. Um, as some of you might be aware, this was probably the absolute zenith of the N64's library, as well as Rare's partnership with Nintendo. Mm -hmm. um, so, we will be playing, in chronological order, all... Ooh, what is it? It's 10, 11 games. It's 11 games, right? I, sure. I should know this. I should know this. I've been staring at these games for the past two years, just trying to plan this thing out. <laughs> this has been on my mind for a while. We've been playing all 11 games produced for the console. Uh, so Killer Instinct, GoldenEye 007, the Banjo-Kazooie games, Donkey Kong 64, Conquer, Diddy Kong Racing, and even these other weird ones I've never heard of, like Blast Court or Mickey Speedway USA. Like, why? What? Why did that have to oh, happen? God. Yeah, that's a real game. Oh, that is a real game. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, Jet Force Gemini, uh, Perfect Dark. You know, these these games are, and I'm not mincing words here, absolute classics in the in the entire history of the video game world mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I mean, because you 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 talk about games that have that are just running on pure nostalgia factor. You've got the Banjo Kazooie games. You got games that are talking about just on sheer level of impact in the gaming industry. You've got Golden Golden Eye Double Seven with its impact in the first person shooter genre. You talk about games that are probably one of the most fun multiplayer experiences, Don or Diddy Kong Racing. You know, you talk about one of the most awesome, insane games of all time, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh boy. Oh boy. This, that game. This, that game. this lineup in and of itself is, is a crown jewel in any video game uh, video game lineup and any video game developer's uh, history. Um, so we will be, of course, paying our just uh, respects to to probably our one of the giants of our collective childhoods mm -hmm. uh, rare uh, that's not all while that's going on we will also be taking a look at some of the other rare uh, classics some of their other big hits of course uh, I am talking about we will be doing by we I mean Axel and myself will be playing through the Donkey Kong Country trilogy so those will be running alongside each other. We will also be taking looks at uh, their other games before this era, most notably Battletoads. Oh, boy. Because that pain needs to be experienced. <laughs> and also the games they worked on since their departure from Nintendo. Again, most notably uh, Viva Pinata. We'll be taking a look at Grabbed by the Ghoulies, because I have no idea what that game is eating. E even is. But what about Connect Sports? <laughs> no. You know what? Actually, no. We'll probably do an episode on that. Cause oh my god. Just, yeah. just to do it, because yeah. when else are we going to do anything with the Connect, right? Never. Uh, and, of course, what would probably be the last uh, Title to be looked at in the rarathon will most likely be Banjo Kazooie. No, don't say it. Don't say it. Oh. Will yes. always love you. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, it has to happen. It, it has. To, we we, we got to get closure. No, we. The bandaid has to come off. I mean, no, it doesn't. Listen, listen I mean, if we're doing Connect Sports, we have to at least do Nuts and Bolts. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, yes, and it will be a full-formed LP. Um, oh god! And I'm not serious. It's not technically part of the Rarathon, but it is... Uh, I am formally announcing it as an, an LP to be had at some point when this entire marathon is over. Uh, like it's, The catharsis has to happen... It, nuts and bolts needs to have its final say. The grieving has to stop. <laughs> it, it will Why? never. But there is a silver lining to that, because after that, we'll have a brand shiny, sparkly new game to look forward to. Okay. It's going to be ever so sweet. The game that we had always wanted all these years. Oh boy. I'm talking about ukulele. Hopefully it'll be out by then. Hell yeah. Oh, I cannot wait for that game. It's going to be beautiful. Yes. Uh, made by the uh, ex-Rare developers themselves. Uh, ukulele will probably be our final fond farewell to Rareware. So... That's it. That's that's the big thing happening this year, the Rarathon. So look forward to Killer Instinct airing some point in April. Um, once it does air, we will be dedicating two days a week to it, both Mondays and uh, Wednesdays. Yeah. So, because there's a lot of games to burn through, and we don't have a whole lot of time. Um, but that's it. That's that's the State of the Union of Romp Airlines uh, January 2016. Uh, you can expect future updates, of course, later on in the year as we can announce more titles, maybe even more content makers. Ooh. That would be nice. 
Uh, Maestro's always planning something. <laughs> that crazy uh, kid. <laughs> and of course, uh, uh, giving confirmed dates for a lot of these other LPs we've uh, uh, generously announced. But that's going to do it for us here. Uh, I'm Maestro, and this has been Nebels and Marty of Martian Media joining me. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 2016. It's it's gonna be a year. It's gonna another. We're planning big things. Mm-hmm. I I give it like like three weeks before this all falls to shit. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I guess the next time you hear from us will probably be sometime in April. Uh, Doing our spring. Let's go, let's go ahead and say first week of April when we can actually formally announce dates for the rareathon and the rest. Sound of the year. fair? Savvy? Yeah. Yeah. Woo. All right, good. All right, so this is, uh, that's going to do it for us. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye.